The missing and murdered Indigenous Woman and Girls Monument is a sacred piece for many. Unveiled in 2014, this monument has offered a place to recollect, grieve, and honor loved ones in need of a grave, shining light on an unseen national crisis. The project began when Hanny Fontaine, Manitoba MLA for the NDP, desired to memorialize missing and murdered Indigenous women from across the country. It took her over two years to convince the Aboriginal Issues Committee of Cabinet and Parliament to agree with the idea, collect funding, as well as find a venue willing to display the monument. She eventually contacted Toby Chase, Vice President of the Forks National Historic Site, who enthusiastically agreed to hosting the idea. In partnership with Brunei Monuments, the province of Manitoba, and the Kani County Chick Aboriginal Cultural Centre, the project had launched. Located at the junction of the Red and Assiniboine Rivers, it rests on the traditional grounds of the Indigenous people who have been meeting in the Forks area for over 6,000 years. The monument, which Fontaine refers to as she, was created in the shape of a woman's figure, showcasing both rough and smooth textures that represent the ups and downs in any person's life. A large circle carved in the upper portion of the statue exhibits a connection between two worlds, the living and deceased, and faces the Odena Celebration Circle, a place that has been home to powwows, sacred fires, and other indigenous ceremonies. Though the message remains priceless, the final cost of the project was approximately $50,000, and the families of the missing and murdered helped in picking the final statue design. The Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls Monument is a remarkable piece, triggering conversation, awareness, and education towards this issue, bringing the non-Indigenous and Indigenous communities together.